All right, we're back here with the second part of the video. So uh, my last video, it was an eBay unboxing video. And this one is going to be uh, really about reviewing and taking a look back at Black Cherry Vanilla Coke because there's not many videos out there on this typical flavor. So, um, yeah, we are going to take a look at it. So the first part of this video is going to be different. The other part of the video, the second half of this video is going to be the same as what I recorded during the eBay unboxing. So uh, anyway, this is a Black Cherry Vanilla Coca-Cola bottle. This has the new uh, carbonated beverage in here. So this is new, but still sealed. I try to take off the cap as carefully as possible so it didn't break just you know why not and over here we have the bottle where the from which the new liquid was from and this is the original flavoring right here this is the original black cherry vanilla from 2006 so might find the label or print something but and of course we have the can here so this can i ordered a few years ago this one i just got in the mail like i said Looks a lot better now that it has the carbonated beverage stretching out the bottle again. So, um, yeah, this is what you would get back in 2006. Let me flip the camera around so you can see a little better. All right, so as you can see, copyright 2006. It actually says 2005 here too, so it probably came out 2005, late 2005, and it got discontinued in 2006. Due to uh, vanilla Coke taking over and destroying this is this black cherry vanilla reputation, so yeah, this is first close look at the bottle. This is what it would look like. This is the ingredients and calories of everything and nutritional facts. And so yeah, this is the full look around of the bottle. It is 20 ounce, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, again, like I said, I've looked for so many videos, and there's just nothing out there. So I figure, why not make a video about it, and, you know, you guys can have something to watch if anyone, diehard Coca-Cola collectors like myself, um, would do, so... March 13th of 2006 is when this typical, well, this liquid expired. So anyway, this is the can. If anyone hasn't seen the can, uh, you could check out my soda collection video and you will see it. It's not in the greatest shape. I ordered it this way um, because it had a slight leak. So I was able to get it at kind of a decent price. Forget what I paid, but yeah, it got damaged pretty good, but I figured... This is the only can I could find, and sure enough, it's been the only can I could find since I ordered it. I've never found another one, so. But that's another thing on the list. Maybe I can I can find them someday, but yeah, it did get damaged, so I had to end up draining all the liquid from the bottom because I couldn't open the top. So yeah, this is it. And that's side by side of what it would look like. And they also did release these in uh, two liter bottles, so. Anyway, without further ado, uh, we are going to taste test um, the original flavoring. So I'm going to end the video here, and the second half will resume. Alrighty, well, we have our Coca-Cola glass here. And I'm going to carefully, I want to, I doubt I'm going to be able to keep it, the cap intact here. It would be nice, but I guess we'll try it. It don't hurt to try. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, just just opening a hair really expanded the bottle a lot more. Uh, so I'm gonna carefully try and see if I could take this off all at once. Uh, I'm letting more air get in, that's for sure. Yeah, it's really trying to 
come off all at once, but I'm really trying to be careful not to break the cap, but it looks like it's gonna it's gonna split. Actually, no, it's coming off all in one piece. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. Wow, it actually still smells like cherry vanilla. To, like, exact. I mean, that's the inside of the cap. Kind of got a little uh, stretched, but it didn't fully break, so that's good. And it still smells just like cherry vanilla. It had, of course, it does taste, smell like an old Coke, but let's pour it in. Oh, man. Now, I know by doing this, I probably just destroyed the complete value of the bottle, but, you know, this is what it looks like. Pretty clear. For being a bottled drink so i'm going to take a little taste of this uh and i'm not sure if i'm going to pour it back into another bottle or not so uh be back shortly okay so now that i have the cherry vanilla the original black cherry vanilla in here uh, i'm obviously going to put it in a better bottle better sealed bottle if i had one um but this is what we have i just took a little bit not much from the bottle and we are going to compare it to the new one still carbonated of course it would be definitely uh, smells exactly the same of course this one has that older smell to it but doesn't affect the quality i guess especially if it's been sealed so um i guess let's try the old one first bottoms up tastes a lot more um like you get a real bitter like kind of bitterish taste like but it's also very sweet at the same time but i do get both cherry and vanilla mixed i still get a very good taste of the cherry vanilla 17 years later i believe so yeah 17. and now we're taking a little swig of the new one smells just like the other one it's actually the same exact taste i do get a little bitter uh flavoring so uh, anyone who is wanting to try the black cherry vanilla Coke, well, if you've had a cherry vanilla Coke recently, it'll taste exactly the same. So, yeah, on that note, uh, this is basically uh, comparing what a 17-year-old cherry vanilla Coke and tasting a brand new one would. I guess it's just a real big comparison uh, between the two so anyway um yeah so if anyone has been wondering the same thing well now you know so uh, i did again i did try this uh, a couple years ago and it did taste very similar to a cherry vanilla coke so i um but i always said if i did get the opportunity i would definitely try it again and i would definitely make a video on it this time so yeah, I hope this bottle should definitely uh, pop back to its former self. Just have to rinse it out, real, at least real, with some water, clean the outside and top and cap and everything, and we'll reseal it, and hopefully the bottle will be fixed. But yeah, until then, uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a trip down memory lane for sure. Definitely a trip back to my childhood a trip down to 2006 so yes it was very nice to relive them to relive a moment i never tried it back then but i wish i did maybe i maybe there's a small chance i did when i was a kid and i don't even remember it but 
yeah, um, this is, I must have been at least three or four of when it did come out. So not sure if I tried it, but it was definitely very good uh, 17 years later. And if again, if anyone wants to, to try black cherry vanilla, well, go to your store right now and buy a cherry vanilla bottle. So, and it'll taste exactly the same, just not as old, but... Yeah, on that note, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And again, uh, look forward to more eBay unboxings depending on what I find. So until then, see you in the next one. So I've done the liberty of taking the new Coke Cherry Vanilla and pouring it into this old bottle. I rinsed uh, the bottle out. I didn't put soap in it or anything. And... Uh, but I rinsed out good and I cleaned up all, all around here. So yeah, this is it. Um, this is what it would look like. Looking a lot better now with the uh, carbonated drink in there. Um, and I did have the liberty of putting the original Black Cherry Vanilla Coke in this new bottle. So yeah, call me weird, call me whatever. But the only reason I'm saving this is because there's not really a whole lot of cherry vanilla black cherry vanilla bottles or anything sealed with the original formula so again I, yeah i know it sounds kind of stupid but at the same time can't find many of these very rare very exclusive and i have been looking for years years and years and years could never find one can't even find a box can't find nothing so yeah very exclusive and majority of the time when you do find one it's going to be very 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 expensive so luckily i was able to get this kind of at a little bit of a deal considering i did purchase this one from him as well so yeah um anyway see you guys in the next one bye